hi again today we gonna continue the pressure vessels okay so pressure vessels can either be cylindrical or spherical and it is mainly used to store the liquids or gases under pressure okay so it is it is the use of boilers or compressed air reservoirs okay normally this pressure vessels or either of cylindrical or spherical right so these can be thin or thick so first we going to see about the thin cylinder and spheres okay so normally thin cylinders means their thickness of cylindrical vessel will be less than 1 by 15 to 1 by 20 times its internal dia so normally thickness will be less than dia okay so the first one is thin cylindrical vessel in in which the fluid under a pressure is stored okay so first we going to see about the thin cylindrical okay so some fluid is inside like water okay so we going to find the pressure which is produced by this fluid normally na sonna cylindrical thin cylindrical and thin spherical pathi da ipo nama paaka porom thin cylindrical abdingirad enna na adude thickness and the cylinder oda thickness pathina adude diameter ulle irukra inner diameter vida kammiya da irukum so that is what thin cylinder okay so in the thin cylinder la namba or water or any liquid vandu ulle vechirukom so and the liquid naala or pressure undagudhu so adha da nama ipo paaka porom okay ingla so p is nothing but the fluid under pressure so the pressure which is produced by the fluid so you can see here the pressure is produced all around the surfaces right it is produced all around the surfaces and this is nothing but a body and this is what its section will be if you cut any section it will be like this okay so inge ungal theriyum idu da cylinder and the pressure vandu ella edathiliyum act agudhu so the cylinder is of l length capital l okay and the inner diameter will be d and the thickness will be t so we can easily say the total is d plus 2d 2t right as you know the pressures are acting upward sidewards and downwards right so the pressure vandu ella pakkamum act aayirukku so we can easily say this cylinder can be split can be split into two types like these two pressures will combine to split this into upward and downward and likewise these two pressures will split this cylinder in sidewards so namba sonna maadhiri in the pressures la mele kili act agra pressure vandu id eppadi pidikku mele kilen solli pirichu utru or else இந்த மாதிரி இப்படி ரெண்டு ஆக்ட் ஆகிறது வந்து இந்த மாதிரி இப்படி பிரித்து விடும் ஓகே ஸோ த சிலிண்ட்ரிக்கல் வெசல் மே ஃபெயில் பை ஸ்பிளிட்டிங் அப் இன்டு டூ வேஸ் ஸோ இட் கேன் பி ஸ்பிளிட் அப் இன்டு டூ வேஸ் டியூ டு த ஃபோர்ஸ் விச் இஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் பை த ஃப்ளூயிட் ப்ரெஷர் ஓகே ஸோ வி கேன் யூ யூ கேன் ஈஸிலி சி ஹியர் த அப்வர்ட் அண்ட் டவுன்வர்ட் ப்ரெஷர் வில் ஸ்பிளிட் த சிலிண்டர் இன்டு லைக் திஸ் and the sideward pressures will split it like this so in the upward downward pressure vandu indha mari mele keela nu split panni uttrum sideward uh, pressures vandu idha side ah vandu pirichu uttrum so we can easily say this action is due to the force acts upward and downward as i said and it is due to the force acts on the ends so end la agra force nala indha mari piriyum mele kili force act agradnala ipdi piriyud and due to these forces there will be stress will be produced as you know this cylinder contains two stresses because it is splitting either two ways right so in the rendu vele id piriyiranala in the force ku rendu stress produce agud okayla so the stress will be produced in the walls of the of the cylinder in both cases so in both cases there will be stresses produced so 
the stresses or circumferential stress or hoop stress and another one is longitudinal stress so you can easily say rent stress vandu produce agudhu circumference longitudinal circumference is due to the action of above and upward and downward forces so we can easily say this is the cylinder right so this is what the cylinder this is what the cylinder and if this cylinder split up like this means it will be comes under the circumferential because the stress is acting along the circumference okay idode stress pathinga na in the circumference side words la da in the side sides la da act agudhu so adha namba easy ah adoda name vandu circumferential stress nu solranga so it can split the split the cylinder into like this okay the same wise longitudinal stress is stress acts along the length of the cylinder so you can see here the stresses are acting along the length along the length of the cylinder so in the stress pathina side words are length ku length ku parallel la act agudhu so idu vandu longitudinal stress produce panudhu so a cylinder contains two stresses by the splitting of two ways okay so first one expression for the circumferential stress so we going to first see the circumferential this is a cylinder and you can see here this is splitting upward and downward just i'm just taking the bottom section alone okay here you can see here all sort pressure normally if pressure acts in this direction means the stress will be op- acting in the opposite direction of this pressure because it has to resist the moment it has to resist the splitting normally pathina in the pressure vandu or direction la pogudhu appadina adudey stress vandu opposite direction la pogudhu edukaga appadina ipo in this pressure nala ஒரு சிலிண்டர் ஸ்பிளிட் ஆகுது அப்படின்னா இந்த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் இந்த இடத்துல ரெண்டாக பிரிஞ்சிருக்கும் போது இந்த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் என்ன பண்ணணும் அதுக்கு ஆப்போசிட்டாக ஆக்ட் பண்ணி இதை ரெண்டையும் சேர்க்கும் இட் வில் ஜாயின் திஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஐ கேன் சி ஹியர் தீஸ் ஆர் த ப்ரெஷர்ஸ் அண்ட் இஃப் த ப்ரெஷர் இஸ் ஆக்டிங் லைக் திஸ் ஸோ தட் இட் கேன் ஸ்பிளிட் இட் அண்ட் த ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஸஸ் ஆர் ஆக்டிங் இன் த ஆப்போசிட் டைரக்ஷன் ஓகே so bursting bursting means it will get splintered bursting will act only if the force due to the internal pressure is more than the force due to the circumferential stress okay so internal pressure should be more than the force due to the circumferential stress so p should be more than stress then only we can easily say it is splintered okay la so in the pressure in the ulla cylinder ku la act out irukka pressure vandu adhigama irukku stress avadaya stress vandu sekudhu pressure vandu pirikidhu so pressure adhigama nda obviously and the cylinder vandu pirinjirum so it will get burst okay so this is what they are saying in limited case these two forces are equal some limited cases it will be equal so we need to first find the pressure and then stress and we going to equate it okay okay so first one is force due to the circumferential stress which is nothing but the stress okay so they are just taking stress 1 yes because we have taken the half of the portion right so stress 1 is acting stress 1 into area on which sigma 1 is acting so stress 1 into area which it acts okay so we can easily say this is a half of the portion so it will be l and this thickness will be t right so l into t and sigma 1 and you can see here the thickness are on both sides so two times t okay one times the l and two times the t this is the area so 
2 sigma 1 into L into T. So, this is what the first equation. Force due to the circumferential stress. And the another one. Force due to fluid pressure. Fluid pressure. So, we can easily say P. P is the pressure. Into area which the P is X. So, just we need to multiply this stress and the area which it acts. And again pressure and the area which it acts. So, we can easily say P into D into L. Because the fluid pressure it is acting all the sides. So, we need to consider D here. D into L. Okay. So, just equate these two things and you will get sigma 1 will be equal to PD by 2T. This is what circumferential stress. Yes. Okay. Let's move on. N expression for the longitudinal stress. Now we are going to see about the longitudinal stress. As you know this is a this is a cylinder and the pressures are acting like along the along the length. So, it will split it will split this uh, cylinder into like this in the sidewards. So, this is the one part. So, we are just considering the one part. Here the stresses are acting like this. So, these are sigma 2 because the pressure is acting like this to split it and the stresses will be acting like this to join it. So, stresses will be acting like this. So, in the edithla pathing na sidewards are the length wise la vandhu the pressures act agudhu. So, it will tend to split it like this. Adhe madri uh, stresses vandhu pressure ka opposite la act agu. So, it will join panna try pannu. So, this is just one or part na mingi consider pannu irukko. These are stresses and D is the diameter here. So, as the same bursting will happen only the force due to internal pressure is more than the force due to the longitudinal pressure stress. So, yappa bursting act agom P will be greater than stress. Apad irukkum bodhu tha vandhu bursting act agom because P vandhu pirikku sigma uh, stress vandhu seko. So, nama seka mudi adhu pirikka tha mudiyo because P is acting larger. Okay. So, in the limited case we need to equate these two forces. So, first we need to find it. Force due to the longitudinal stress which is equal to sigma 2 into the area which the sigma 2 acts. So, we can easily obviously say here sigma 2 is acting right. So, what is this? It is a circle. Circle means pi r square. So, we can easily say that as pi d. So, pi d into t. So, this is the area which acts on it. And force due to the fluid pressure, P is acting, P is acting all over it. So, we need to consider the cylindrical shell here, P into the area for the cylindrical shell, pi by 4 d square. So, just equate it and you will get the answer as sigma 2 will be equal to pi d by 4 t. Here the denominator is 4, that circumferential stress will be P d by 2 t. So, we need to divide it by 2 to get sigma 2. So, sigma 1 by 2 will get sigma 2. Okay. So, always remember that it is important. Circumferential stress should be less than permissible stress. Permissible stress. Number on the cylinder ke yevlo stress permit pan irukkomo adha vida kamyada circumferential irukkanum. Okay, if they have given some permissible limit stresses for in the question means you have to consider that stress as a circumferential stress because it should be equal or less than the permissible stress. Okay. So, any point on the cylinder there will be two stresses, two principal stresses are acting parallel to the surface, parallel to the axis of the shell. So, considering the shell, it is acting parallel. Okay, the two stresses are acting parallel. So, we can easily find the maximum shear stress. Shear means nothing but the two stresses 
we need to subtract the two stresses and by two divide by two you will easily get the maximum shear stress as you know these are parallel so we can easily subtract it if it is perpendicular means it will be zero so the two stresses are tensile and perpendicular okay so it is said to be tensile stresses and perpendicular stresses but it is acting parallel so maximum shear stress will be equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 and you can see just substitute the values and you will get the answer as pd by 8t which is the maximum shear stress okay and here comes a note if maximum permissible stress is given you need to take it as circumferential stress we have seen that okay so i am just going to tell a problem here a cylinder of internal dia so they have given the diameter of thickness they have given the t contains gas here it it has gas if the tensile stress in material is not exceed this one so they have given the tensile stress here yes so they have given the tensile stress here and you can easily say this ten this tensile stress i'm going to take it as circumferential stress because it is the permissible limit right it should not exit 80 so it should be less than 80 newton per mm square so we need to cons we need to find the internal pressure p so just write the data and you can see here this is 5 centimeters so i'm just taking it as 5 by 100 meter because i need all the things in meters and just substitute it in the and you will easily find the p value here the p will be 3.2 so just substitute it okay so this is what after that you need to find the p so you can see here this one this one will get cancelled and 8 by 2.5 will be there and the point is here so i'm just multiplying it by 10 by 10 so you can easily get 3.2 newton per mm square okay if in this case in this two formula sigma 1 and sigma 2 formulas if they have given efficiency just add it to the denominator you can see here if they have given the efficiency means just add it like just uh, put it in the denominator in this two equation and you can clearly see here circumferential stress sigma 1 but we need to add the efficiency efficiency due to the longitudinal joint here the same opposite thing longitudinal stress is here and the efficiency due to the circumferential joint will be added here just opposite okay and the next one is effect of internal pressure on dimension of thin cylindrical shell so in the dimensions in the thin cylindric cylindrical sorry cylindrical cell dimensions in the pressure the dimension vary so circumferential stress acts on longitudinal section so circumferential stress or acting in the longitudinal section and longitudinal stress or acting acting in the circumferential stresses and as we know these two stresses are the principal stresses which acts in the principal plane okay so this is what the two formulas so we need to find we know the stresses so we need to find the strain here so first one is come circumferential strain and longitudinal strain two strains are there okay let's see one by one so e1 will be equal to sigma 1 by e minus mu into sigma 2 by e this is according to the 1d 2d dimensional okay shear 1d 2d dimensional shear uh, stress relation okay so in this thing you can easily get the formulas just remember this thing if e1 vandirukana sigma 1 will be positive matha dekellame minus potittu mu ala into pananum avladha idu idile adhe maada e2 appadina just put positive to the sigma 2 and you have to multiply by mu and minus to the other things okay if it is 3 means sigma 3 by e 
minus of mu into sigma 1 by e again minus of mu into sigma 2 by e so you just need to multiply minus and mu to the other things okay other terms so just substitute the values you know sigma 1 sigma 2 values just substitute it and take the common thing pd by 2 t e pd by 2 t e so the common things are same if you take it out 1 minus mu by 2 will be the answer and 1 half minus mu will be the answer for e1 and e2 so we have got e1 e2 values next thing is we need to find the e1 again you can see here e1 which is nothing but the circumferential strain strain means change in length by original length right so change in circumference due to the p p is nothing but the pressure by original circumference again here change in length due to p by original length okay just we need to substitute it and then we need to compare it with here okay so circumferential change here like final minus original so final circumferential minus original circumferential by original circumferential so final means pi d plus del d del d means change in dia minus original original is nothing but pi d by original so by solving it you will easily get change in d by d same here change in length by length so just we have found e1 e2 again just equate it to these equations and you will obviously get the change in dia and change in length as this and next comes the volumetric strain so we can easily say del d and del l is calculated like d and l is calculated so now we gonna calculate the volumetric strain from this thing we can easily calculate the del v okay so these are the strains volumetric strain means change in volume by original volume final volume minus original volume by original volume so this is a formula so here area into thickness or length will get the volume right so original volume will be area of cylindrical shell what is the area pi d square by 4 into l so we can get the original volume next thing final volume which is equal to find final area into final length all are final right final means we need to add the change in diameter and change in length here that's it so pi by 4 into d plus del d you need to add this del d and del l here l plus del l same formula okay and then we have found the final volume here just solve it apply a plus b the whole square formula here and then just multiply it and you can see here del d square or del l square or del d del l so just remove these terms because these are very 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 small quantity so we can easily remove it either in the a plus b the whole square formula apply panni nama pandra pa idhila vandu indha mari term del d square del l square del l del d del l idella varappa nama remove panela because it is very very small quantity okay so these two three terms are uh, taken out is neglected and these three terms are considered so the final volume will be pi by 4 into l d square plus 2 l d del d plus d square l d del l sorry d square del l okay so this is what the formula so change in volume will be equal to final minus original so just put here the final one and the original one and you can see here i'm just multiplying this pi by 4 in the first term alone so if if i do so i can easily get this as original so these two will get cancelled and the remaining thing will be the chain del v okay so volumetric volume so, sorry volumetric strain will be equal to change in volume by original volume so change in volume by original volume so we can easily get the answer pi by 4 will get cancelled right and this is what d square l so here two terms are there so just put 
d square by l in the single terms and you will get the answer as 2 times of del d by d plus del l by l this is nothing but e1 and this one is nothing but e2 right so we have found e1 as d del d by d and e2 as del l by l so we have got the answer as volumetric strain will be equal to 2 times of e1 plus e2 okay again this is somewhat but we need to find it in deep right so e1 and e2 values so you know you need to substitute the e1 and e2 values and solve it and you will get ans you will get the answer as St volumetric strain will be equal to pd by 2 te into 5 by 2 minus 2 mu okay and if you want del v means v times of 2 times is v times of 2 e1 plus e2 so this is what the answer at last okay let's see a sum again a cylindrical shell 3 meters long so they have given the l which is closed as this as the ends has an internal dia so d is also given and wall thickness t is also given calculate circumferential and longitudinal stresses so they need to find sigma 1 sigma 2 and also change in dimension like del d del l del v right if it is subjected to internal pressure of this one so they have given the p here and e is also given mu is also given if it is not just substitute the same values just remember it okay so these are the datas and mu sorry sigma 1 and sigma 2 we know the formula just substitute it and you will get the answer 50 25 and here the only thing is you need to change it into centimeter overall okay okay after that change in dimension so we need to find the change in dimension del d the formula is there so just substitute the formula you will get the answer again del l the formula is there substitute it and you will get the answer after that del v will be equal to v times of 2e plus 2 e1 plus e2 we don't know the e1 and e2 formulas right so just we need to find ev which is equal to del v by v after that to find this value you can just multiply this v here okay so first we need to find the ev so volumetric strain means del v by v it also has the another formula right p d by 2 e t into 5 by 2 minus 2 mu just substitute all the values in this formula and you will get the answer as this one which is nothing but volumetric strain and it is also called del v by v right so just you need to find the del v so just multiply this v to here <coughs> v is nothing but area of the cylindrical shell into length right so pi d square by 4 into l so you will get the answer as this one 2356 point something into 10 power 3 centimeter cube so you no need to put this point so we up to this we have found sigma 1 sigma 2 as they told and del, del d del l del v okay and the next thing is thin spherical shell so up to this we have seen about the cylindrical now it's time for spherical okay thin spherical shell spherical shell has d t p yes as same as that pressure thickness and dia but there is no length right you can see here there is no length but it has depth thickness and the pressure fluid pressure so it splits into x x axis so it is splitted in the x x axis means circumferential or hoop stress will be produced as you know the pressure is acting like this to split this 
So, the circumferential stress will act in the opposite direction to join this. So, circumferential stress or hoop stress means sigma 1. So, next we have said that spherical, thin spherical shell. Inge paathing na L irukkadu. So, only dia D, thickness T and P is the fluid pressure. And idu paathing na x x axis la piriyudu. So, idu piriyudu abdi ingi rappa pressure will be act like this. Appo stress vandhi idu ka opposite direction la act agunu. Appa da idu vandhu seka mudiyu. Indhethi le enna stress agunu. In a stress act agu, circumferential or hoop stress. So, P is nothing but the force which causes the splitting. P which is equal to P into pi d square by 4. So, force which causes the splitting. So, we need to find the pressure force here. Pressure force which is equal to P into pi d square by 4. Right? This is the area for the cylindrical. Like this is the area for the spherical. Pi d square by 4. Okay? So, P which is equal to P into pi d square by 4. And we know that stress will be equal to force by area. Right? So, I just putting this force here. Just substitute this force here by area which is nothing but pi d t. Okay. Pi into d into t. This is the area. Because the stresses are acting in the round only. Okay. But here the p is acting in the circumference. Okay, so pi dt, just substitute, if you cancel this, you will get it, sigma 1 which is equal to pd by 4t. Okay, so in the path, pi dt in varu, yena, it would a circumference, other than the surface la mattun, the round surface la mattun na, in the sigma 1 act agad. Whereas, in the body full la vandu, pi d square by 4 act agad. Okay, ingla? The body full of one the P act as so pi d square by 4. If it is acts along y y axis means we can easily say sigma 2 which is equal to the same x x axis or y y axis both are same here in the spherical. So in the na it is just a round the na. So either in x x la pirichala sari y y la pirichala sari answer will be same. P D by 40 is the answer. But the only thing is, this is tension hoop stress. That is hoop stress or the circumferential stress. Okay. Shear stress is 0 because these two stresses are equal. Equal means it is acting perpendicular. So, it, if these two are equal means we can easily say the shear stress will be equal. So, the two equal are equal. Then, the two minus are zero. Ondru. So, shear stress will be zero. Stress or acting at perpendicular direction. That is why they are having the same value. Strain at one direction. So, we need to find the strain at one direction. Any one direction. Okay. E which is equal to as I told you if it is E1 means sigma 1 by E minus mu into sigma 2 by E. Here sigma 1 and sigma 2 are equal. Okay. So, E1 ke enna formula? E1 vandhave idu vandhu positive. Sigma 1 by E minus mu into sigma by E. Correct ingla? Sigma 2 by E. Sigma 1 and sigma 2 is equal. So, we have sigma 1 and just take the common things out and 1 minus mu is, is the remaining one, right? So, E1 is sigma 1 by E into 1 minus mu. So, just substitute the sigma 1, Pd by 40, right? If you substitute 
the thing and you will get the answer like this so we have found e here next the thing is volumetric strain del v by sorry del v by v which is equal to volumetric strain what is v here we need to find the spherical spear formula pi d pi by 6 d cube we know the formula is pi by 3 pi r square right so in terms of d it will be pi by 6 d cube so spherical order volume pi by 3 4 by 3 pi r square this is what we have this is d la matra pa, pi by 6 d cube is the volume and del v del v will be equal to pi by 6 just take this is pi d cube right just take 1d outside so we need to add pi by 6 into d square into 3 del d just take the take 1d and put it as 3 times of del d that's it okay you can see here pi by 6 into d square into 3 times of del d i'm just taking a single d outside okay by the original volume pi by 6 d cube so after cancelling it you will get 3 times of del d by d which is nothing but 3 times of e so we have found ev which is equal to 3 times of e okay so just substitute the values for e and you will get the final value of volumetric strain for the thin spherical shell okay so up to this thin spherical shell as well as the cylinder so the pressure um, the fluid pressure acts in both thin spherical cylinder and thin spherical shell right so we have uh, seen all the things and the next video i'm going to teach you um, about the thick cylinder and pressure thick cylinder pressure and thick cylinder shell okay the pressure acts on the on these two things so we will see those things in the next video thank you so much for watching this and keep do watching and if you have any suggestions or any uh, anything you have to know i will teach you just comment it okay thank you so much